And we've got wet weather already making its way across San Diego County, but those light showers overnight will give way to heavy downpours by tomorrow afternoon. Our tennis reporter Matt Boone joins us live in Bonita, where people have been coming in to fill up some sandbags there. Matt. Steve, yeah, we're actually getting a little bit of that rain, as you mentioned, out here right now. It's been drizzling for the past hour or so, but this rain and the rain from yesterday has motivated people already to come out and start packing up those sandbags, hoping to start protecting their property before this little drizzle turns into a flood. It's become a yearly ritual for Oscar Garcia. Here we are. Filling up sandbags to divert rushing water around his house. If I don't put no bags, the, the, the water goes, goes in, the, in the living room. He says he was surprised by how hard it rained yesterday afternoon and realized he wasn't prepared enough. We got a warning yesterday and, and I know it's going to rain more. In December, heavy rains packed a punch around San Diego, including in this neighborhood in National City, where several buildings were flooded. Friday night, residents showed us remaining damage and slow repairs that are still being made. The woman in this unit didn't want to go on camera, but says their apartment flooded with more than a foot of water, destroying most of their clothes and furniture, which they haven't been able to afford to replace. Her five-year-old son now sleeping on a still soggy mattress. It's a fate Garcia is hoping to avoid. Yeah, a lot of people, they wait until the last minute. Better to be over-prepared than not at all. I didn't want to risk it again. Yeah, we've got a full list of where you can find materials to pack up sandbags all around the county. Go to our website, 10news.com. And as for that family that I mentioned, they're an immigrant family. They recently moved to the United States. They're looking for some donations to try and get their furniture back in their home after it was flooded. Feel free to reach out to me at 10 News Matt on Twitter or find my email on our website as well. Reporting live in Bonita tonight, Matt Boone, 10 News. All right, Matt, thank you. Everybody's trying to get prepared, uh, prepared for this. Let's go now to our 10 News Pinpoint weather anchor, Jennifer Dela Cruz. The heaviest of that rain is going to arrive tomorrow, though. Right, heavy rain for tomorrow, but that storm has already arrived. We're yeah. already seeing um, some rain popping up in the county. As Matt was just mentioning, he was dealing with some drizzle, and we see it here on our 10 News Pinpoint Doppler Live. The majority of Southern California dealing with the system. Storm number two, we've been talking about it all week long. This is the big one, so we're already seeing some showers popping up. A lot of green on our radar, places like Ramona, Poway, Alpine, into Mount Laguna, and more rain on the way. So a slight chance for showers for tonight. Anything that we do get for the overnight hours and even into tomorrow morning will be relatively light to moderate rain. But as we get into 11 a.m. for tomorrow and into the early afternoon hours, that's when our chances go up significantly. Not only do we have a better chance for showers, but the showers that we do get will be much heavier and then tapering off after that. This is storm number two up to an inch and a half for the coast, two inches for the inland valleys, three in the mountains with gusty winds. But we still have storm number three on the way with lighter rainfall totals, but that storm is going to be much colder. I'm tracking all of that coming up in your seven day forecast. Quite a